hey guys welcome back to my channel this is Sharani happy new year everyone today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious egg bites three different ways the first thing I'm going to do is preheat my oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and then I'm going to put some water in a baking pan and I'm going to set this on the lowest rack in the oven to create a water bath it's important that you spray your pan with some cooking spray, otherwise your eggs are going to stick in the pan. Now I'm going to work on the fillings and set them aside. Here I have 1 tablespoon of butter melting over medium heat. To that I'm going to add some sliced white mushrooms and some chopped onion and I'm going to let this cook for about 5 minutes or so and then set that aside. The fillings are customizable, there is no right or wrong way to do this, it's all up to you and whatever you like. I'm just giving you ideas of different combinations that you can put together. Season with a little bit of salt and black pepper to taste. I get a lot of questions with people asking for measurements and for those of you who don't know, I always have measurements for all my videos in the description box of the video. Now for the second filling, I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to cook up a little bit of red and green bell pepper in some butter. Okay, so now we're going to work on the egg mixture and for this you're going to need a blender because you're going to want to whip some air into the eggs. After I added the eggs to the blender, I'm going to add some cottage cheese to that and then I'm going to add a pinch of salt and I'm going to blend that for 30 seconds. I love cottage cheese in this because it makes the texture so silky and so custardy. Now if you don't have a blender you can use a whisk to whip it and you'll have to whip as much air as possible into the eggs. This is what you want your egg mixture to look like. Now it's time to assemble these babies my favorite part <laughs> i'm just going to show you two of each so you get the idea for these two i'm doing the mushrooms and onions that i cooked earlier and i'm putting a lot because i love mushrooms so put as much or as little as you want and then i'm going to pour the egg mixture over that and then i'm going to top it with a little bit of grated parmesan cheese For these two, I'm doing the peppers and some crumbled bacon. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't decide which one I like. I love them all. But like I said, these are customizable, so it's up to you. You can put whatever you want in them. Oh, and by the way, if you don't want to cook your peppers, you can put them in there raw, but I prefer them cooked. I'm not putting any extra cheese on these. For the last two, which is my husband's favorite, I'm using some cooked ham that I cut into small pieces. Then I'm going to pour the egg mixture over that and top it with a little bit of grated cheddar cheese. 
This recipe makes a total of 8 but I'm just showing you 6. I want to make some scrambled eggs with the leftover egg mixture so I'll show you at the end what that looks like. Put this in your preheated oven and bake it for 20 minutes. After you take them out of the oven, let them cool down a little bit before you take them out of the pan. I like to use a plastic knife and run it around the edge of the eggs and pop them out. And when you put them on your plate, just flip them over. So if you've never done a water bath before, what that will do is it will provide a humid environment in the oven and that will keep the egg bites moist and soft. These are so so good. If you make them one time, you're going to be making them all the time because they're so good and so addictive. So here it is, the scrambled eggs that I made with the leftover egg mixture. I just wanted to show you what scrambled eggs and cottage cheese looks like. I know some of you might be thinking this is old news, but for a lot of people that don't know or have never had it, it's really good. And I know people back home would want to give it a try. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help out my channel. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.